Hey, what's up you beautiful feckers? How are you all doing? So this video, of course, is a little bit late. I'm a few days behind schedule, but I was away at EGX at a huge nerd convention, so apologies for that. But here we are. While I was away, we got another look at the work in progress game mode codenamed Elite Alerts on Primetime, which is aimed, I think, at veterans or higher or better geared players. Now, it's a challenge mode of sorts where you and your teammates will have no revives, no bleed outs, you'll have one life, and if you die, then that's it, you're out. So there could be a fun aspect of these missions with your friends if you're playing with those, just to see who could last the longest or with clan mates either. Now, these Elite Alerts will be endless missions only and will rotate every hour, so survival, defense, intercept and so on so whenever one of these elite alerts pops up or when it rotates to a new one each player in your squad will get a different boon or buff for a weapon and a warframe so the alerts that they showed off on prime time was the exact same for both rebecca and megan as in they both got a survival mission which is the way it's going to be but the boons that they got or the buffs that they received were different for each of the warframes and weapons so each player in your squad will get a different boon or a different buff per mission for a warframe and for a weapon. So in the alerts that they showed off on the prime time, Rebecca was given a buff for an Equinox, which gave it 300% power strength, and she also got a buff for the Boar Shotgun, which increased its damage by 300% as well, whereas Megan had 300% range for Harrow and 300% bonus damage for the Super Rifle. So the Elite Alert mode is going to choose different buffs for you depending on your gear. Hopefully that means that you won't get buffs for items that you don't own yet or that you haven't built. Like say 300% damage buff for the Sigma and Octantis when you're still 200 days away from actually getting your hands on it. Because that's something that happens with Rivens. Of course, you can get Rivens for weapons that you don't actually own. Now, the reward rotations for these Elite Alerts are changing from what we normally have, which is AABC to ABCCCCC and so on and so on for as long as you stay in with 10 minute intervals for each rotation. Rotation. Now rewards are going to dictate whether or not this game mode is popular with the community or not I guess. Being a good endo farm will of course help it out but there will also be a selection of new exclusive mods to get your hands on with these elite alerts. Six to be exact, six new elite alert exclusive mods. Now I list out what these mods are going to give you and you can decide or you probably already know whether any of these mods are going to suit your playstyle or not. So the first mod will make you invulnerable after a roll so rolling will remove status effects that are on your warframe and leave you invulnerable for a few seconds after but I think it's going to have a cooldown on how often you can be affected by this invulnerability phase or else you're just going to be rolling non-stop and then shooting for the few seconds and then roll back into that invulnerable state so it's going to have a cooldown. Now the next mod will give you bonus holster speed and bonus damage on your next shot so when you switch weapons then the first shot out of that next weapon will deal bonus damage and increase your next holster speed. Now, if you remember a while ago, they showed with the melee 3.0 holster speed from melee to actually pistol and that is going to be a lot faster. So I'm wondering if this will affect that as well, if it will make it a lot, lot faster than that. I guess we'll know in time. The Vectus Prime and the Nell, I can see being good options for running with this mod, but it's up to you whether you want to sacrifice one of your mods out of your build to fit this in. Now, the next Elite Alert mod is a self-damage reduction mod. I guess it does exactly what it says in the tin. It's not going to deal as much self-damage from weapons like the Phantasma, the Lens, the Ogress, and so on. You might not one bang yourself into the middle of next week with self damage if you're too close to that explosion. The next mod is probably the best of the bunch and it's a new aura mod that will give you negative 30% power strength to your warframe but it will also increase your squad's power strength by 30% as well. So frames like Loki, Nyx, Speed Nova, and any frame that doesn't rely on high power strength to be effective will of course boost your team's damage by a lot. So I guess any crowd control frame that doesn't need that power strength is going to be beneficial running this aura. So this is a mod that's definitely gonna see a lot of use for me, depending on whether they change it before these elite alerts actually drop in game. Now the next mod is energy gained on a a headshot with a sniper rifle so popping melons will give you an amount of energy back again this is going to be really good with any of your favorite sniper rifles or even if you have a harrow equipped as well or a peaceful provocation 
equinox or a slow nova and so on something that's going to make it a lot easier for you to get that energy back now the last mod on the list that rebecca called out is a status reduction mod that if you get affected by a status effect like slash is the one they give as an example so if you're running on maybe the kuva fortress missions you can get 20 percent slash resistance for 20 seconds and it will stack up to a maximum of 90 percent slash reduction for those 20 seconds again i could see myself using this on kuva survival i'm not sure how effective it would be outside of that i guess again we're gonna have to wait and see what this mod is like when we actually get our hands on it but again with the mods like these you're gonna have to look at your current builds and sacrifice or choose to sacrifice something out of those builds in order to fit these kind of unique mods in also chances are that some of these could have a d polarity or other polarities that won't fit into your current build which will mean you're going to have to reform a weapon an aura or a warframe slot in order to fit these mods in so let me know what you think of all of these mods and the effects that they're going to give your warframes and weapons also like i mentioned they said that these missions will be a good endo farm i think it showed rebecca having a thousand endo after about 14 minutes of that elite alert on prime time which isn't bad it could be a lot lot more if you're going to stay in for longer of course especially if you're running the alerts for new mods or if you're farming something else or even if you're just testing a setup out then it's going to be bonus endo either way kind of maybe now one of the changes they mentioned that i think might not go down too well with the veteran community or the players that are looking for higher level content is that they have reduced the starting level of enemies on these elite alerts from 80 which is what we were shown on dev stream 115 down to 60 so enemies are going to be level 60 to begin with with these elite alerts and of course they're going to ramp up the longer you stay in so i'm assuming that they're reducing it from 80 down to 60 in order to make it easier which I would honestly prefer if they didn't. 80, I thought, was a very nice level to start with. This is supposed to be an end game or elite game mode, and most of our favorite weapons, for veterans anyway, will shred sortie level enemies so, so quickly. So level 60 will be a lot, lot easier. But let me know what you think of the level reduction, whether you're fine with it or not, or whether you're happy about this or not, in the comment section of this video. Of course, these are still a work in progress, these elite alerts, and everything can still change. Those enemy levels could pop right back up to 80, or some of the mod stats could change, or everything could change. So again, just to quickly recap these elite alerts, these missions, when released, whenever that will be, will start at level 60, all of these missions are endless types of missions and they will rotate every hour so one hour could be survival the next could be defense and so on they also give player specific buffs for each elite alert depending on weapons and warframes and they're a good or they're going to be a good endo farm you can also apparently get an exclusive emblem and you're going to be able to build specific ship decorations from a new resource which might be the elitium that was popping up on prime time footage because i know a lot of players locked onto that straight away and thought it was going to be a new variant of nithane used for something else weapons or frames but that is pretty much everything that we know about these upcoming elite alerts and of course the reward system attached to them let me know in the comment section below what you think of all of these whether you like the sounds of them or not chroma prime and his prime access apparently is tomorrow i think hopefully do me a huge favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't subscribe for more warframe and as always thanks very much for watching